on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. I don't think you were followed. Come on, I have a plan. We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. I'm right behind you. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. Did you? That didn't take long. I've been doing this a long time, remember? While the Thalmor have been looking for me, I've been watching them. So what's your plan? How do I infiltrate the Thalmor Embassy? The Thalmor Ambassador, Ellenwen, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the Embassy, you can get away and find Ellenwen's secret files. I have a contact inside the Embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're yeah, doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wynn's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Melbourne. Any questions? No, not really. Well, once I'm inside the embassy, then what? That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Melbourne should be able to point you in the right direction. I'll see you in solitude after I meet Melbourne. Sounds good. Be careful. You need something? I am happy to help if I can. What's up, yes? man? Need something? i like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? I want to go to Solitude. Climb and back and we'll be off. Alright, no problem. I've got your back. Nice weather for a ride. Hope it lasts. Let me know if you have anything you need for well, I'm good, thank you. should talk to Corpulus. Corpulus? Welcome to the Winking Ski Lab. Take a load off and enjoy the atmosphere. Oh, thank you. Alright guys, we're looking for a wood elf. He's in the inn. Look around, I'm sure you'll find him. Alright, thank you. I'm a little busy at the moment. I've got all sorts of errands to run. I've only been a part of the Red Wave's crew for a few weeks. But I've already learned to stay out of Captain Safia's way. Right. 
Fiata, where did you learn to make right bows so well? The same place I learned my charming words. Ah, what do you need? Good evening. Our mutual friend sent me. Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. What kinds of things should I bring? You're asking me? She promised that she was sending someone who knew what they were doing. If you actually want to get out alive, I'd bring whatever you need to move quietly and kill quickly. All right, I'm ready. I hear what I need. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Take it easy. Do you miss your days training at the college? Absolutely not. I prefer to be near enough to come visit, but free to come and go as I please. Guys, let's meet Delphine at the stables. Your job is to get into the party without being fingered as a spy. I'll take care of the rest.
Oh, those are the stables over there. You look new. I'm new too. I think we could be friends. You're passing through solitude? Maybe you're looking to make some easy gold, yes? No, I'm good. What did you have in mind? It's easy to find things to sell. Things nobody will miss. Things from underground, or just left lying around in someone's house. I bet the two of us were very alike. So why not take the next step? We can help each other. My sister Deja and I are treasure hunters. We like to collect things. I'm listening. I knew you looked like a clever one. With the war, many more ships come through these docks, loaded with weapons and pay, but few people, and they pass through dangerous waters. We have an interest in one of those boats, the Ice Runner. The Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in, but if its fire were to go out, the Ice Runner would run aground. So you want me to put out the lighthouse fire? What an interesting idea. I think if someone were to do something like that, there would definitely be a certain amount of loot to be shared. Yes, if someone were to put out the lighthouse fire and then meet me on the docks afterwards, I could certainly direct them to that loot. What would happen to the sailors on the boat? Don't worry about them. We'll make sure they wash up safe. Maybe they'll even pay us for their heroic rescue from their sad crash. It would be best if we spoke little until you've completed your task. Maybe. Oh, there you are. Have you given Melbourne the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Yes, Melbourne's all set. Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. You can't go to a party at the Thalmore Embassy dressed like that. Respectable, right? I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? I'm ready. Keep the rest of my things safe for me. Don't worry, it will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good luck. Fellow latecomer to Ellen Lee's little soiree. And arriving by carriage, no less. I salute you, sir. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this godsforsaken mountain than any desire to actually arrive late. I prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party, so as not to miss out on any of the drinking. Please, you first. There's not enough drinking in the world today, wouldn't you agree? 
I guess not, no. I will Welcome just... to the Thalmor Embassy. Your invitation, please. Thank there you, sir. Go. go right in. Now then, here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thigh. I'm just doing my duties. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Elinwyn, the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? Uh, my name is Liquid. Pleased to meet you. Ah, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. Please, tell me more about yourself. What brings you to this... to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the Arinthia Red? Of course. I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please enjoy winter. yourself. I can't remember the last time. Right, thank you. This you speak truly. Have you heard any interesting rumors of late? What can I get for you? You made it in. Good. As soon as you distract the guards, I'll open this door and we can get you on your way. Let's hope we both live through this day. I'd like Here you go, drink. sir. The finest Colovian brandy. Is there anything else I can get for you? Mm hmm. This war has taken a toll on the merchants of Skyrim. Let's hope that it ends soon for their sake. You speak truly. Have you heard any interesting rumors of late? I've heard I came here hoping to learn that more Imperial reinforcements were on their way to Skyrim. But so far, I've been disappointed. How are you enjoying the party? Well enough, I suppose. Elinwen puts a great deal of effort into these parties, and it shows. I just wonder what her real motivations are. That woman is inscrutable. Can the Thalmor be trusted? For now, perhaps. But I've heard disturbing rumors that they're marshalling their strength. I suspect the treaty that ended the war was just a tactic to buy time so the Thalmor can rebuild their armies. I hope I'm wrong. I'm not sure the Empire can afford another war. Good speaking with you. Good speaking the Grey Quarter in Windhelm is little better than a slum. It's shameful that the Dark Elves are made to live that way. I know just what you When mean. I married Torek, he promised we'd go to lavish parties just like this. I wish he were here now. Enjoying the party? Very much so, yes. Ellenwood's parties are always so elegant. She really has impeccable taste. My only regret is that she doesn't host them more often. It was a pleasure, thank you. Well, I did see something interesting not long ago. There were several Khajiit camped outside the walls of Whiterun. Seems they've been traveling around the whole of Skyrim, peddling their wares. You've got to admire their courage, doing something These like Thalmor know how to treat a guest. Have you known Ellen Wen Long? I've known her long enough to appreciate her excellent taste in food and wine. Very much so. And also long enough to respect her importance to Skyrim. She plays a vital role in rooting out the forbidden worship of Talos. As far as I'm concerned, those Talos worshippers get what they deserve. All they do is cause problems for me and the other Jarls. Some Jarls resent the Talmor. How about you? Yes, I know what you mean. Most Nords struggle to accept change. Those who fought the Thalmor in the Great War still see an enemy. But that war is over, and a new day has dawned. Besides, the Thalmor reward their friends richly. Anyone who doesn't take advantage of that is a stubborn fool. Until later, then. The degeneracy of the Empire is on display oh. here in this room. For the man who knows how to make money, war can be a most profitable venture. The Great War is long past, 
It's time the Empire and the Algmeri Dominion put aside their differences. Prosperity is good for everyone. What well, brings you to this party? You must be new to Skyrim, or you'd already know who I am. I have a stake in most anything of importance in solitude. I feel that it's time to put aside the grievances of the past, and let peace and prosperity flourish between the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion. I try to do my little part. Besides, just between you and me, it's making me pots of money. <laughs> sound like a businessman, like quite the businessman. But not every Nord is obsessed with strength, honor, and skill at arms. A rare few are born with a gift for making money. My investments are my strength, and my wealth is my weapon. As for honor, well, there are some luxuries even I can't afford. Very well, then. There's a likely-looking filly, even if she is... The hospitality of the Thalmor Embassy is at your service. What's your name? I can see you spare no expense. Uh, of course not. One does not gather the most important men and women of Skyrim, and then serve them cheap ale and stale bread. This is only a taste of the benefits that accrue to those that align themselves with Thalmor interests. Do you ask these parties you, often? Was there anything else I could do? Quite often, yes. The only thing I enjoy more than luxury is sharing that luxury with those who can appreciate it. Yes, sir. But I also enjoy learning the latest gossip and hearing the most intriguing news. Uh, the roast venison with bitter green sauce that we had at the last party. Do that enjoy is delicious. Yourself. I am. I thank you very much. You Heard anything interesting lately? If I had my way, I'd spend well, all my time at parties like it. this. I've heard and none of it between with with the Greymanes and the battle boards of the front. Ellen really knows how to host a party. What can I get for you? Oh, nothing, I'm good. I'm so glad you could attend today. I don't recall seeing you at one of these before, and I know everyone who's anyone in Skyrim. What brings you to this party? To maintain relationships. By the way, I don't know who you are, but unless you want me to blow your cover, I'd advise that you avoid me for the rest of the party. Okay. Until next time. These are troubling times indeed. One thing everyone can agree on. This war is bad for business. Do you want to help me with something? Parties bore you, why attend them? The East Empire Company has... However, as the head of the company, it's my job to make sure we maintain good relationships with prospective partners and investors. Does your company do business with the Thalmor? A delicate question, to be sure. I'm the Emperor's cousin, and the Empire has little love for the Thalmor. On the other hand, the Thalmor have considerable funds and are looking to expand their shipping. I haven't signed any deals yet. But I'm sure my cousin would want to cut if I do. What better way to soothe his wounded pride? Got to admire their courage doing something like that. You want to help me with something? Oh? Something interesting, I hope. I need you to cause a scene. Get everyone's attention for a few minutes. I don't know. I don't want to do anything that might offend Ellen when there is a lot of money at stake after all. The gray quarter in Windhelm is little Don't worry. I just want to play a joke on someone. I don't think so. Sorry. I would love to help you, but Ellen Wynn can be very vindictive. I wouldn't want to get on her bad side. Okay. Well, I did see something interesting not long ago. There were several Khajiit camped outside the walls of White Run. The degeneracy of the Empire is on display here in this room. What brings you to this party? There are those in the Empire who would wish to evade their obligations to help root out the Talos heresy. Fortunately, those most opposed to the Emperor's wise policy have now branded themselves traitors as well as heretics. I am here to remind the ruling classes of Skyrim that their loyalty to the Emperor requires cooperation with the Thalmor. Mm -hmm. No matter how harsh the winter, the crops that grow there never fall. Okay. Even when every other farm in the hold is barely scraping by, the harvest at Roaring State is always bountiful. Is it good fortune? 
the blessings of the divine. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Here, I brought you a drink. Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles. If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. Actually, there's something you can do for me. Wonderful! I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Say on, friend. I need you to cause a scene. Get everyone's attention for a few minutes. Is that all? <laughs> My friend, you've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. Stand back and behold my handiwork. Attention everyone! Could I have your attention, please? I have an announcement to make. I propose a toast to Ellen Wynn, our yes. mistress. What are you I speak doing? figuratively. Uh, Nothing could be more unlikely than that someone would actually want her in their Let's go. Let's go. Before anyone notices us. You're already in bed with her. But again, I speak figuratively, of course. Fine, fine. Get your hands off me. I'll be a good boy. So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking. Got it? Follow me. Got it. Malberg. You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Savani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. Come on. If someone misses me at the party, we're both dead. Did Good you luck. Those roads? You're on your own. Who are they with? More of the emissaries' treaty enforcers? No, they're high mages, just in from Alan. My guess himself is finally getting worried about all the dragon attacks. Ah, good. I've been wondering how we were supposed to defend this place from a dragon. If a dragon does show up, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll eat the mages first. Might give us enough time to kill it. Ha! Ah, I'd like to see those arrogant bastards take them down a notch. Always looking down their noses at us lowly foot sloggers. <laughs> Well, we better get back to our rounds. Thanks, Lydia. I don't know how you got in.
today. Emissary, Emissary Ellenwin. We anticipated a breakthrough in our efforts to uncover the party or power behind the dragon resurrection phenomenon. An informant has identified a possible lead who we have brought back to the embassy for a full interrogation. The subject is obstinate, but by all indications is holding back the information we seek. I have authorized Intermediate manual uncoiling. I do not expect more will be necessary unless you feel time presses. I know you prefer to be present for the final questioning. I will inform you immediately when the subject is fully receptive. Two days should tell the tale. In the meantime, if you wish to audit the technique, your expertise is welcome as well. As always, I have placed the prisoner in the cell closest to your office stairs for your convenience. Ooh, Rulindi, third. Crap, okay. 
okay. I told you. I don't know anything else about it. I'm not here to torture you. What? Who? What? What do you want then? No time to explain. Let's get out of here. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Come on, this way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. It must lead somewhere. Who are you? What are you doing here? They grabbed me in Riften. They seem to think I know something. They just kept asking me the same damn questions. Let's get out. I saw guards dragging bodies over here. Might be a way out. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we'll talk later. I damn well hope so. If it helps you twist them up, I'm glad to help. They're after some old guy named Esburn. Something to do with dragons. I gathered it from listening to them talk when they thought I was out. I've seen a guy in Riften who they seem to think is him. Not much to go on. I don't even know where he lives or his name, but they seem pretty excited about it. That's it. Now, let's get out yeah, of here. Yeah, let's go. Sounds good. I'll follow you. Whatever you want. But let's go, now. I'm right behind you. All right, let's dip out. Listen up, Spy. What can I do for you, friend? You're trapped in here, and we have your accomplice. Surrender immediately, or you both... What's on die. your mind? Never mind. Silence, I'm traitor! already. Move. Slug is someone's there. Ah. Uh. Right, guy. Now the Thalmor will be hunting me for the rest of my life. I hope it was worth it. All right, let's go. Let's get out.
Alright, let's get out of here. Now the Thalmor will be hunting me for the rest of my life. I hope it was worth it. What the? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell. Yeah, we got it. Okay, this was crazy. Okay, this whole thing was weird. We gotta head back to Riverwood. 